Remember, you have you have to believe in your heart, but you also have to confess with your mouth, right? Yes. That's what Paul wrote in, in Romans. He said, for with the heart, a person believes, resulting in righteousness. And with the mouth, he confesses, resulting in salvation, Romans 10.10. 10. So it's like when, you, you, when you're confessing the word of God, that brings God into action. <laughs> so in verse 48, it says, Then it happened when the Philistine rose and came and drew near to meet David, that David ran quickly towards the battle line to meet the Philistine. I think one of the most wonderful things in the world is that word, rose. Yes. Then it happened when the Philistine rose. Do you get this? You know, we have to have a little <clears throat> reading comprehension. If the Philistine rose when David said this, you know what that means? He was sitting down before. Yeah. He didn't take it very serious. He didn't take he, David very serious. He was not. Yeah. He wasn't just. He didn't take the whole situation. No, no, but he wasn't taking David. That was the yeah. point. I mean, you know. They said the other ones didn't confront him at all. Yeah. They just made a lot of noise. He, he's specifically talking about David. He said, you know, you come here, you're a youth, you're nothing. Yeah. I'm going to, you know, he cursed them. And the fact of the matter is, it's like he he had no regard for David. Yeah. And, and from, a, from a worldly, natural point of view, I can understand that. Yeah. Goliath is this monster warrior. And here comes Champion. a young guy, yeah. no armor on, no nothing, doesn't have a sword, doesn't have a shield, doesn't have armor on. And Goliath, he's just sitting down relaxing. Yeah. Until, until... David said to him, I come to you in the name of the Lord. And then Goliath knew he was in for a fight. Goliath knew he was in for a fight. So he rose up. He rose up. And when he rose up, what happened with David? David charged. Ran toward him. He was letting the devil know he was in for a fight. Yeah. The whole armor of God. Now, God is your rear guard. But the whole armor of God, it's got your head covered Right? It's got your heart covered. Right. It's got your... You know what it doesn't have? It's back. Nothing, it doesn't have your back covered. Mm. We're not supposed to run away from the fight. Yeah. Now, you know, we're, we serve a God of peace. We serve the Prince, Prince of Peace. Yes. We're not supposed to go out looking for battles. We're not supposed to be contentious. We're not supposed to be looking for fights. But when the fight arises... We are supposed to be prepared That's right. and not run away from it. Okay. I, I just, I, I, that strikes me so greatly. I mean, it's like, can, if you can picture that, all of a sudden Goliath knows that he's in for a fight. He gets up, it's serious. How did he know it was serious? Because of the words of David. Yes. Do your words scare the devil? Does your confession scare the enemy? Does he know that you're serious? Or does he think, well, you're just, you know, you're, you're a kid out there playing Christian. You can dress up. You can go out and you can shout the war cry. We talked about this a lot in the last mm -hmm. two weeks. But until the enemy sees that you take the Lord seriously, he's not going to take you seriously. Because he, he saw what David believed. He heard what David believed. I want to say that one more time, okay? Because I really, until you take the Lord seriously, mm -hmm. the enemy will not take you seriously. Mm -hmm. So, verse 49 says, And David put his hand into the bag and took from it a stone and slung it and struck the Philistine on his forehead. And the stone sank into his forehead so that he fell on his face to the ground. Thus David prevailed over the Philistine with a sling and a stone, and he struck the Philistine and killed him, but there was no sword in David's hand. Hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. He drew a rock at him. That's right. It wasn't just a stone. No, it, it was, was a rock. rock. I, was, I was thinking the same thing. A rock that is higher than I. The rock of my salvation. Because there's no enemy that can stand against the rock. That's right. Hallelujah. It was the rock who is the word. Because and so, he's, because he said that was it was the Lord's battle. It was the battle. The battle was the Lord's. That's right. Oh, victory in Jesus.
Jesus.